We already took a look at GameStop. We already took a look at Best Buy. Those videos are on the channel. But let's take a look at the Black Friday deals that you get at Walmart. And of course you knew I was going to do Walmart. I'm from Fayetteville, Arkansas. Like 90% of the human beings I know work for Walmart corporate. I got to keep them employed and save you money at the same time. So let's take a look. And I should also mention that my sponsor, Meta PCs, also has a Black Friday sale as well with RAM up to 65% off and ready to ship systems up to $650 off. And if you use code Boogie, you're gonna save even more. So check it out, link down below. If you have the option, Walmart is the place to pick up your consoles, I think this year. The deals are really solid. Uh, $4.99 for the PlayStation Slim. Really decent, especially bundled with Spider-Man 2. You can also get the same bundle with Modern Warfare 3, which was a pretty skippable game for, for the record. I, critically panned. But that said, you might still enjoy it. And it's basically free when you get this bundle at $4.99. Uh, taking a look at the Series X bundles. Fairly decent here. Diablo bundled in, $439. You're saving what, 22% off. That's not so bad. Modern Warfare 3 here bundled at $489. The Series S with three months of Game Pass and a controller at $289. I think if you can afford it, you should probably still consider getting the uh, Series X over the S. But I know a lot of people who have the S and they love it quite a bit. My initial uh, opinion on the... S has changed quite a bit. In fact, I have a friend who put it in developer mode and made a hell of an emulation machine out of a Series S, and that ain't bad for $249. It also plays Xbox games, right? The Smash OLED bundle at $349 is really solid. Mario Kart bundle, $359. Not bundled, but you get it thrown in as well. Uh, the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe bundle straight up at $299, but this is not the OLED version I think the OLED version is worth the extra bucks, but honestly, if you're looking to save money, if you're looking to save money, the light's not a bad decision as long as you don't want to hook it up to the television, but I think you might want to invest the extra 50 to pick up the OLED version if you can afford it. So starting at 1122, you'll get different game prices than we're seeing here. They're in green. I'll try to point them out to you. Uh, $30 for Jedi Survivor on November 22nd. That's very competitive some of the other places they've been five more uh, dollars more expensive in a couple of places so a 34.97 as their standard sale for it's pretty solid as well picking it up early is not a bad call god of war ragnarok goes down to 40 dollars on the 22nd again i've said this again and again so worth picking up legend of zelda breath of the wild 40 dollars goes down to 30 goes down to 30 very well worth picking up at 30 I think so. Mario Odyssey goes down to 30 These prices are very competitive here. And I'm very excited to shop at Walmart if you need these games. Luigi's Mansion, a great puzzler, $19. I, that's the lowest I've seen it in any of these videos. Probably well worth the pickup. Resident Evil 4 PlayStation 5 version goes on down to $30. Another really solid pickup that's on my list. Mortal Kombat only goes down to $40 for the PlayStation 5 version. And I have said this again. I got a review code, but I'll also talk crap about it. It's heavily monetized. This game will continue to get cheaper. Feel free to wait unless you absolutely need to play it now. Combat Pack 1, Combat Pack 2 microtransactions in the forms of skins and the fatalities heavily monetized and heavily monetized games like that no they'll make money off the back end so save your money wait till it gets cheaper hogwarts legacy though forty dollars uh here a great game definitely worth picking up a couple of sonic games uh sonic superstars for 40 sonic frontiers for 40 i still really need to play frontiers it's on the list uh, $29.99 for Miles Morales, the gold edition. We've seen this in other stores for more. So really solid there. God of War, this is the PlayStation 4 version for 30 bucks. If you're still on PlayStation 4, I, I, I guess it's not a bad pickup. Most of these games, though, I'm, I'm very surprised. Good job. 
when it comes to the prices here. Oh my gosh, though. <laughs> Diablo 4 six, only goes down to $60. You save nine bucks. For a game that basically committed Harry Carey <laughs> right after it released, that's a little pricey, don't you think, for the PlayStation 5 version? Uh, it, it, it's getting better. They're patching it and making it better. I know that it will be better at some point. Street Fighter 6, $30. PlayStation 5 version, definitely worth picking up. Uh, great fighter. The online mode, the single player mode, the open world mode, whatever you want to call it, really, really solid buy up. Um, Spider Man 1, PlayStation 4 version, going down to 20 bucks. You'll love to see it. $20 for the non gold version of Miles Morales. You'll love to see it. Both just great games. This is the cheapest price that we have seen on uh, Nintendo Switch Sports. $19. If you really got to do the bowling, you really want to do some golf, not a bad way to get it. Uh, Last of Us Part 1 going down to 30 bucks. Mm, it's pretty skippable. I've also been looking at these backbones. I might, I'm really tempted to pick one of these up. If you have one of these, let me know. Should I get one and do a review on it? Going down to $69, probably not a bad call. It's considerably cheaper than the PlayStation Portal. You know, and if you don't mind using your phone, and I do have a half decent phone as well. So at the end of the day, I do like to see an arcade up, one up here at 34 bucks. I don't have the Miss Pac-Man one. Of course, I don't have the room for it, so I probably shouldn't be picking it up. But Walmart's got some pretty solid deals, and I feel like they are cheaper than the competition. So on the 22nd, probably worth taking a look if you got the time. Walmart website is so frustrating, and I'm just going to spend the next... 10 minutes complaining about it because I'm your I'm your local YouTuber, right? I'm your Fayetteville, Arkansas YouTuber. I want to be able to say I'm proud of what Walmart has accomplished online. But instead, I buy everything from Amazon. Even I don't buy from Walmart. And you guys are here. It's so frustrating. Your deals are good. Your prices are good. And the hardware deals this time, if you're picking up a console, if you're picking up controllers, it looks like Walmart is the place to go especially the online prices, as well as the store prices. So I'm looking forward to shopping at Walmart for Black Friday. Just that user experience needs to be so much better. You're not even competing with Target. You're not even, I mean, every other website is easier and more fun to use than yours. It's so frustrating and embarrassing, Walmart. It is. It makes me feel bad. But I hope I saved you guys a little bit of money. Labor through using that website if you have to to get those consoles. I hope you save some money and I hope you have a Merry Christmas. As always, thanks for watching. I love you very much. I will speak with you again soon.